Hi, this is Matthew Reinhardt, and I am checking out Best Pop-Up Books' newest YouTube video of my Harry Potter, A Pop-Up Guide to Hogwarts. Ooh. This video, I'm, the music is so mysterious. Very cool. Isn't the artwork great? So, um, Kevin Wilson did the artwork on this book, and whoa, there's the first pop-up. Ooh, look at all these angles. If you only knew how many times I rebuilt this castle. Um, so it's good to see it. It's nice to see it that it's working here. So we rebuilt this, um, the first spread several times over. In fact, the original design had a, um, the roof of that big tower. It actually went inside the, um, the main part of the tower, but it was really hard to get it to um, push upwards. And so I had to redesign it a couple times. But these little peekaboo windows that you see, that was um, a really fun addition that we decided to do because all the structures, there's stuff happening all throughout the entire book. So it's f for, through all the movies. So we have these nice little um, side flaps that feature all the different characters. And um, what's funny is the model for Hermione's little mini pop there, um, the body model was Kevin's daughter. She actually, um, wore the, the little sweatshirt and um, he took a picture of her to get that pose just right. There's Dumbledore's office. He's all like, oh, Dad, does he bring any food? He loves his candy. Oh, and if you look, um, Kevin and I on this um, pull tab of uh, the uh, fat lady's picture, um, nearby there are the different, you know, uh, portraits of uh, uh, different teachers and you may see Kevin and I in there as... Hogwarts instructors. Now on to spread two. This is the other part of the castle. So Hogwarts castle is so huge that we decided to make it on two spreads. And that the, um, the astrology tower, I think, what is it? Astronomy tower, excuse me. Um, that was really difficult to get super tall. So if you can see, it kind of bends in on itself and bends backwards. Um, there are some little pop-up windows. You can see what's going on in horticulture class. And also in the dark arts class, you can see there um, Professor Lupin teaching them how to deal with uh, bug arts. You can look inside Tom Riddle's diary. And also this, now I love this just little flap. It's a, a two-way flap. So it's what's called a, like a, it's kind of inspired by a Jacob's Ladder. And so here we are, here are the different teachers of Hogwarts, and they're all there and they all animate and change. That was a lot of fun to be able to recreate. And these are, this pull flap, I love this, um, has all the teachers. I, my, my, I think my favorite um, dark arts teacher, even though Professor Lupin was the best one, I think my favorite was, um, uh, 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 what was that about? Professor Umbridge. Oh, she was so great just because she was so bad. I just loved her. And her music, her theme song music, I, I always love. That's like my favorite uh, soundtrack song is her music. Here is the Quidditch pitch on the third spread. I, I had to redesign this one actually a few times too because, you know, I never get it right the first time. And I always have these like very ambitious ideas about how I want to engineer the pop-up. So initially, the, the different um, pylons where, you know, that you can watch the stadium, you know, those, those tall things, wherever, those towers, those initially actually bent inwards and um, they, they, uh, they just didn't work right. They, they were always, they would always like come up halfway. So it didn't really look like the Quidditch pitch, you know. Um, eventually I, I changed it to this and it seems to work a little bit better. Uh, here's the dragon. Of course, you can't go wrong with a little, one, you have to have at least one dragon in every book, right? Um, and these are these little tiny mini pops with the Triwizard Cup and the Golden Egg from the Triwizard Tournament. I think that's one of my favorite Harry Potter movies, actually. So I, when I was doing this book, I probably listened to the books and listened to the movies while I was working the entire time through. At, at least, you know, when we weren't doing anything that was um, connected with writing or uh, because it, oh, I just loved them so much. They were so great. I didn't, it's funny because I didn't love 
the book at first. The first book I didn't love as much as I loved the, the subsequent ones. Um, but the movies I always loved. I always thought they were amazing. Here is Hogsmeade. This was another very difficult uh, pop-up to engineer because there's so many different houses and they're all butting up against each other and there has to be a lot of little, little sliding roofs that are all happening at once. I'm pleased how this one came out, um, especially that we were able to cram in the um, the, the Screaming Shack um, on the side. And there, again, more pop-ups, more little scenes. Little, we call them pull-tab uh, peekaboo windows. So you can look inside, you can actually see what's in Honeydukes. And also on this spread, if you really look, you can find my, my niece and nephew are hanging out in Hogsmeade, George and Lillian. And the Marauders map, you can open up and you can actually see um, characters walking toward each other. I think it's Harry and Peter Pettigrew. It's not the entire map. I didn't have enough room for the entire map. I wanted to, but it would have taken much, much too long to finish. And also, it would have been like as big as the book. Here is The Forbidden Forest. This is actually the first pop-up we actually finished and um, that uh, Kevin made art for. So when he made the art, it was just so incredible. I couldn't wait to finish the rest of the book so that he could keep making art. So you can see Professor Lupin as a werewolf. Um, the Dementor is attacking Harry and Sirius Black. And also Aragog and all his children going after Harry and um, Ron, which you'll see in the flaw. The flying for an angle, you have to, you pull this little tab. Some of the tabs are marked so that you can, you know, definitely they're, they're marked out so you can find them. And others are are not so much marked. They, they're they secret ones so that you have to discover them. We thought it would be important. You know, sometimes it's good to just look around and see what you can do. And so um, there's, there's a, a lot of that happening in this book. And then, of course, the small moments where we get to learn about different characters and different animals like, like um, Thestrals and Hippogriffs and, of course, our Acromantulas. And here's the final battle between Harry and he who should not be named. Voldemort. This was incredible. All those trees, uh, to get them to all fold up and fit into each other, it's a lot of work. Now, the fun part of the of this book, unfolding the Hogwarts map. Now, this was another one that was very similar to my Game of Thrones book, which I also did with um, Inside Editions. And there are these nice little tabs on the side, and hopefully they're easy enough to untab, just very carefully. Oh yeah, use pencils if the tabs are too tight. Sometimes in manufacturing, you know, it's hand assembly, so sometimes it's a little difficult. You don't want to rip them. So the, if you can't get your fingers under there, use a little pencil to pull them out. It's a really good idea. There, there are some on the tops and some on the sides. So we're going to open up all these little tabs. Undo the back. And then carefully unfold each page. Now. We did this several different times. Again, like with every book, there are many different um, iterations of the book uh, that happen. So when I created this one, this uh, Hogwarts guide, we had an idea about sort of elevating the Hogwarts castle above the rest of the spreads. And it was really, really thick and cumbersome. It didn't end up working. So now, um, it's much easier, it's very simple, they're just folded right onto each other. And this is the basic overall map of the Harry Potter pop-up guide to Hogwarts. So you can enjoy the entire campus as a 3D map, and also as a book, so you can explore it both ways. I think I would want to display it, if I had the space, I'd display it as the map, totally as a map. I think I'd want to play in there. I'd love it. If, if I had my brothers, I'd make it huge so I'd get some action figures in there because, you know, I love action figures, I love toys, all that sort of stuff. So um, I'm going to plug myself at this point. You know, if you ever want to make any pop-ups, you want to learn how to make pop-ups, go to my YouTube channel um, or you can follow me on my Instagram, Matthew C. Reinhardt on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook. You can follow me uh, at pop-ups by Matthew Reinhardt, pop-up books by Matthew Reinhardt. And don't forget to come here to Best Pop-Up Books, where you can find the latest in new pop-up book releases. I mean, this is where I come to see what's going on, and it's the best. The videos are awesome. See you soon.